When he goes back and, and starts going through the footage, he's going to be like, there's no way we can no, we can't, this, we can't even use this. We can't even use this yet. <laughs> Grind them for the feature. I said they're ready. You're not wearing them down. Well, uh, you don't need yeah, to. Oh, well, that thing was like a. It was unbelievable. It was like sandpaper, and it's on the car now. It feels like sandpaper, and I laugh. I'm gonna go get a tire in case we use it tonight. I don't know if we're gonna, but maybe we will. No, thanks, guys. Won't be cheating now. No. That ain't bad. 18. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Thank you. Was it stuck? Yep. Gotta put a little ass into it, David. I had to push it down. I just went over and got that and checked in and drew my number. What'd you get? Tell me. Oh, for, it's just for time travel. I know. 18. Oh, okay. Which is good, so. Well, I told him last week when he was wrapping them, he says, I'll beat your ass with yours wrapped and mine not wrapped. He goes, Well, this week you're getting them wrapped, so you can't give me any excuses. That bigger right rear can go on, Andy. Yeah, yeah. What's your what's your right rear size? You know, ninety and three quarter. You're a little bigger than me, so yeah, I wouldn't wouldn't hurt to try five ninety sevens or even six O's. Ain't gonna hurt you. Mine goes like six O. I got a four eleven. So yeah, that's what this is. I would do it. I wouldn't be afraid to right now. Get a little gear to it. Try to time try a little better. You know what I mean? That's what I'm wondering. Just to get yourself in that top fifteen area where you're gonna qualify, you don't have to worry. This is your home track, guys. Yeah, oh, yeah, you got to defend your turf. You know what I mean? We got two here, and that's good. If we can get through tonight good, and then we get through Utica good, we got a shot at this thing. And I really believe we do. The way that's driving right now? Wow, it's warm. Albany Saratoga is just, it, it's been known as one of the best racing tracks around wise. I mean, you, you get a ton of pass in here. Um, when the track gets wide, it's fun. There's a top, there's a bottom. You can put the thing on the cushion and let it eat. And, and it's, I mean, that's what I like to do when it's right. But when it's not, you got to get to the bottom. You got to dig off the bottom. And, and here, they'll tell you this is some of the stingiest competition around for any division. And in our sportsman class, I would say there's 15 of us on a given night that can win. So, I mean, it's it's like if you want to run against the best, you're going to run here, I think. You're not just running against the best. You're running against guys that are traveling, like Rocky Warner, who's got 18-plus wins this year. Jeremy Pitts is a track champion. Timmy Hartman, uh, Connor Cleveland. I can keep naming them off. My teammate's a track champion. I've had track championships. I mean, it's, like I said, it's a competition level. You've got to prepare yourself to run against them guys. When you strap in, you know that Starting second, third, fourth means nothing. Usually when I don't like people, I just chase them off. <laughs> that's, what, that's what my brother says. You, so you don't make up with any teammates. You usually <laughs> run out. I can't believe you and Scott have gotten along that, that good being so far because usually you just chase guys off. He goes, I says, I'm going to tell you Scott's special. I love him. Oh, see, that's that. You know why? Because he's good. caring. Still and hard. you know who really likes you more than anything? Yeah, my old lady loves you. Oh, good. As long as she, she says, likes me. I try. You got to try, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the driver's meeting. I'm all special mic'd up tonight oh, for, your, for that thing to show. I said, wait till he gets a load of most of my guys. <laughs> oh yeah, I said you'll be beeping everything and editing everything out. But. We'll split them in half. I don't want to put all 10 of you on a short track at one time. So five, you know, heat group one, five of you will get sent out. It doesn't matter what order you go out. You're all going to time anyways. Sorry, are you running into me? Well, what the f went on my blind side? I don't have an eye over there. I know. It's killing me.
actually the quickest car, but the track slowed down quite a bit, which is normal. Uh, but the second set of time hot laps there, the time trial, as you want to call it, we ended up being third in our group, which puts us third in the heat race, which if you can finish top three, you're in a redraw, and that's, to me, that's everything right now. So we're just going to probably grind the tires and be ready to go. Where are you starting? Third. Why? Third. Fourth heat, third. So. That's good, you're right on the outside. Then. Inside. Oh, you're inside. Third, second row on the inside. We Chad's on the pole, and then uh, the 7 Eleven, and Pitts is next to me. I think they're taking five, top three redraw. I gotta stay in that three. Yeah. So hopefully it pulls good off the bottom, we're good. The only difference right now between these two cars is the shots. Yep. Really, yeah. That's the only difference. Yeah. They're almost scaled identically right now. I was talking to Willie about what you and I talked about with the fronts. Yeah. And he goes, by all means, Get Sunday I should try car. that standards. He goes, because that's crazy. He goes, You'll have more drive. I, I, he I, says the reason why you're doing good is because of you here. You know how to get around the place. Yeah, that's right. He goes, you could make it better probably. I, did I say that? Yeah, oh, you did. I agree. So Sunday, Sunday when we get him from Walton, I'm going to try it. If there's one thing I know, it's shocks. I know, I know like that. The back of my I head. know that. I'll tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. Having tie downs on that race car hurts you it. Would, you would pick up a tenth and a half right now to put those front shocks off. Right. Well, I can feel it. I know what you're saying now because when I get in, if I get in in the black, it, it goes good still. But if I get to it too quick, it's here. It's right. not It's not letting it get back to it. I have to let it get back. You know what I mean? Never on a black track. No. On a black track, never do you ever want to have tie down shocks on a black track. You know when they work great? When we got a berm. Because it lets it just hammer it, and that's why it was so fast that week. You know what I'm saying? So. Listen, don't even let it worry about it. Because we got a provisional. We're, we're good there. You know what I mean? but it ain't bad. I'm a little snug now, which I think it's gonna come right to the car for the feature, so. Good so far. Hey, the luckiest oh, ass oh. here. I hope you might. You're a lucky oh, bastard. You get free oh, handicapping, hey, you get to draw the pole. Yeah, great. Uh, so you want that one? He wants this one. You sure, Scott? You sure? No, you'll take 12. 12? Yeah. How much did I take it I know. I always draw the worst one. How bad? 12. Yeah. Yep, do 12. Hey, I did a devil's ball, so. I drew 12 at Devil's Bowl and got to the lead, so I'll do it here. That's better than where I've been starting, so. And the sad part is, sad part is, Willie, sad part is there's six cones up there, and I, last time, the second one I grabbed was 12. So I, I walked by a bunch of them, and I went, you know what, that first one I looked at is the one I'm going for. I turned around and went, uh, Boo Black. Yeah, he always gets, like, first Boo Black. I was a tad bit snug, but after this modified feature, I should be right on. 
So I'm, I'm see you had to spike the brakes and get in just, free. Yeah, I started figuring it out because I was trying to roll it in and it was just making me snug to the point where I was I was shearing the nose just a little. Yeah. So it was making me slow. And then I realized I went in hard, touched the brakes, turned it, and I was getting more drive off with him. And I was like even with him then. He couldn't get away from me. And there was a couple times I felt like, like caught, caught yeah, just doing that. I got a little faster. That's why I'm thinking feature time she should be dead on. I'm taking a quarter inch of stagger away and that's it. And I'm dropping my PNR bar down. I'm going to drain the shocks down a little and let her eat. Get up on that cushion and just truck. As a days of thunder, car's good, Harry. <laughs> Two weeks ago here, I started 24th and finished third. But the track had a cushion in the bottom. You, you went to the top? Oh, yeah. I was there the whole night. So hopefully I drew 12 out of 12, like normal for me. So hopefully there's a top tonight. But I, I got a feeling they're going to blow it off. They're going to mean nothing. Right. They're going to eat it up. I hope not, but who knows? I mean, the 591s are like a good in-betweener. You know what I mean? Get you off the bottom, but it gives you enough for the top. Problem was last week, the top was so far gone and sprint cars were here that you needed about a 570. They put both cars in this trailer? Yeah, <laughs> it's back. Where would you be in this Where, where are you starting? Fifth. Stand I, bottom. Roll that fing thing on the tires, Brian. Pavement drive it. Pavement drive it till you get to where you need to be. Say you get to third. Stay do what you gotta there. do. Stay there. You gotta make the race. You know what I mean? Don't get crazy. If if you get past, then you gotta get crazy. And be on his ass when the green comes out. Don't let fing six tuck in in front of you. If you're taking four, you gotta get two. So. Uh, I'm starting fifth. Right. So I'm saying get two to be comfortable. <laughs> That's the way I feel. I did notice is when I was in the black coming off of turn two, which yeah. is going to be a lot of that. Oh, yeah. You hit the gas and the ass end comes out. It's going to. No matter what you do, Brian, that's going to. that spring right up, it won't. Right, but you also, if you do that, you're going to be tight getting You're in. losing the top. The more you open a spring bar, the more you're going to lose the top. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I don't think there's after 50 laps. So we're gonna that's where you got to use this off the bottom. If you're in that black, just fing roll, roll, roll. Like I said last week, I was barely on the throttle, middle of the straightaway. I wasn't even touching it. I was like well, flat on the floor. Coming into that four, you should hear them. Barely touching that. Oh yeah, just rolling. Just rolling around that. And like in, when they when they first enter it, yep. Then they're hitting the gas. Yep. Yeah. Same thing I'm doing. Yeah, basically, yep. Same thing. There ain't no. gonna be nothing left of that. Car. I'm telling you right now, you look good. That's the best I've seen that car look. You had yeah. a good drive because when you were in front of them, when you rolled it up, you believe it or not, even though you felt like you weren't doing anything, you would do this. You just walk oh, away. Right. I said, look at that yank. We gotta get oh, do I want them or not? It's like I hate giving it up because of the bottom. You know what I mean? When you're down there, you can pull good with these. When you get to the top, though, it's like it's hit or miss. Do you think they're going to blow that off in 50 laps? How high is it now? Is it higher than normal? There's about, no, it's about where it was the night I came from 23rd, right there, now. There's a good, solid cushion. I don't think they're going to move it. Right, it ain't going to go far. It might move half a car right now. Let's leave it. Let's Sound leave like them. sprinters. Yeah, like let's leave them. To the wall. I'll leave it. We had 15 gallons, that's good. Good, no, that's fine. That, this car gets good drive with that, so. And these three are grown. Good, perfect, we're ready.
fuel. There's nothing like the adrenaline that dirt racing brings, so basically there's nothing that can replace dirt racing. Made some of the adjustments for the feature, just got rid of some stagger and uh, thought I should pull a little gear, and I think I still should have now, seeing the racetrack once we got out there. I didn't realize the modifieds were going to push it that far up, cushion-wise. Um, and ran inside the top 10, I think it was the first 10 laps or so and got shuffled around on the top, got caught up behind a car that got out of shape, lost a bunch of positions, ended up back in around 15th, I think. And then on a restart, guy was looping it in front of me. I think it was the Lucier car of the three, and I thought I had him missed, and as I was missing him, somebody behind me either jacked me up or pushed me into his tire. It happened so fast that I didn't really know. It wasn't a real crazy flip, but it was a hard flip, hit-wise, and uh, next thing you know, I was on my roof. The car doesn't look like it took too bad of a hit. Looks more like body. We got a lot of work to do in two days to get ready for Friday, but that's part of racing. Sometimes you're at the top of the mountain and sometimes they throw you off the mountain like tonight. <laughs>